Oh, oh. Yep. I haven't had one do that today on this reel. Oh my gosh. This is big fish of the day, guys. Welcome to the Hurt Locker. <laughs> the Hurt Locker. Making up a oh. Oh. <laughs> a few years back, I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. And now, the boys from Fish Village and I are scouring the world for the ultimate fishing destinations. Right, You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. Nice. We own them now. Serene. It's way calmer in here. I guess it's just a lucky guess. Huh? Well, lucky it's almost like you almost like you know what you're doing. <laughs> almost. almost. You're not fooling me, mate. <laughs> I can fool Marty. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Field Trips and welcome back to New Zealand. So great to have you here. We just motored across back out here to Great Barrier Island and Arid Island, about 30, 40 miles off the coast of Auckland, with the first ever group of Fish Village clients for these mothership trips here in New Zealand. It's gonna be absolutely epic. Look at the spot, you guys. Look where we're at. Paradise, ladies and gents. We have been spending the last four or five days hunkered down as Cyclone Gabriel cut through New Zealand. They're calling it a 100-year storm. We lost power road trees down in the road pretty gnarly few days right when the group showed up of course but that's over now look at it now and luckily we do nine day trips on this trip for this reason so we got flexibility with the weather now we didn't expect a freaking hurricane to come through but it's working out we just made it across back in paradise we got a little bit of time today we're gonna be doing some kayak fishing today the real start is going to be tomorrow. We're going to jump out here for a little little sunset sesh. Everyone's gearing up right now. That's a penguin off the back, floating back there. That's a species of penguin that lives here in New Zealand. It's wild out here, you guys. And just absolutely gorgeous little cove. We got some islands we can fish. But we're going to hop in the kayaks, make this quick, quick. Do a little sunset sesh, and I'll see you guys in the water as we get launched. But we're back, baby. If you've been following along, we just did a five-day trip out here with a group of Aussie clients. It was absolutely epic as it always is out here. You can book this trip if you want, fishvillage.com. We'll talk about that more later. Look at this place. Wow. Let's go catch some fish. Start this off right. No, you're good. No, you're good. No, no, you're not my way. I'm just trying to get all of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ready? You ready? Oh, that's going to slay it. That was ready. Good. Byron Young, who's been here, he's been to Panama with me twice. Now he's here on the first New Zealand trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, everyone. Um, we'll kick off with a safety briefing and then we'll set you all free. So, uh, after the storm of the century, we can um, actually finally get a couple of days fishing in. So, really cool. And a massive thanks to you all, too, for, uh, for putting up with us. It's something that was totally... Uh, Unexpected, and um, we survived. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as far as the location's concerned, here we're in a nice sheltered bay um, of Heratonga. Uh, fantastic snapper fishing out front. We've got islands out here to our right, and we've got reef structure running along the coast to our left. Marty's going to take you out uh, and around to the left and put you on the first reef and hopefully pandemonium will rain. <laughs> this area here is well known for 20 pound snapper so you'll you'll be into personal best country. Things to watch out for, the snapper themselves uh, they've got crushing jaws so please keep fingers out of their mouths. Uh, they're designed to, to crush heavy shelled coastal shellfish. Use the net, the nets are provided for that. If it's a really big one and you're having trouble again radio Marty or myself and we'll come and give you a hand. The only other thing is if per chance anyone ends up in the water uh, please let us know. Even if you're straight back on board the kayak please let us know straight away. With the breezes that we've got, there is still, despite the fact it's summertime, a chance of hypothermia, um, just a, a slow chill, 
as the breeze blows on cold clothing. So it's really cool that we know. Other than that, look after each other and have fun. Sweet. Yeah. 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 Welcome to New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured tonight we'll stay pretty close. Like we don't yeah. have a ton of time, so we'll just stick together yeah, and just so kind of we'll just do a little Marty's quick little snapper yeah. 101 for tonight. Yeah, Marty's going to put you on on the fishing reef, yeah. so um, you know there's no point in going very far, no point deviating. Yeah, you know okay. that's the area to hunt. Yeah. You guys paid for a guided fishing trip, so at least tonight let us guide you, and then, uh, <laughs> then the rest the rest of the week you can avoid Marty. Like I know you all want yeah. to. No, it's just a shakedown, eh? Like there's no stress. So just yeah. Get out there, have a bit yeah. of a go. Can You'll feel out. what it's like to like. Do we have lights? Yeah, yeah. We'll probably stay out there till. I mean, it's calm enough in here. We'll probably stay out there till dark. Yeah. 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 Let's get out there. Let's do it. Oh. Phew. About to do the thing, you guys. We got hurricane debris in the kayaks. No dramas. I don't have to get between you two lovers now, do I? <laughs> That's probably Michelle. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> don't film that. <laughs> <laughs> you passed the hop. <laughs> said don't film that. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Lost the kayak before we begin. Yep. Thanks, bro. Right, resume filming. <laughs> jacket if you want. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bye run, about to slay it. <laughs> See you out there, brother. Yee! New Zealand! <laughs> Byron paid his deposit pre-COVID for this trip. And I tried to give it back to him last time he was in Panama and he was like, no, keep it and whenever y'all go, I'm going. Now here we are. So Jamie here just got married like four days ago to this guy, the strapping young man. Yeah. <laughs> and chose to spend their honeymoon with us. I don't know what they're thinking. On the, on the <laughs> All right, and we're off. As you can see, the sun's pretty low in the sky. We had to kind of wait for the last remnants of the cyclone to blow out of here before we could motor across, but wasting no time. We're going to get out of here, get a little quick evening session in. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think we got a little bit of wind around this corner, but it's looking flat. Might be a minor annoyance, but shouldn't keep us from finding some fish. In fact, I'm coming around the corner right now and I see someone's hooked up. First person I just saw is bent over. It's gonna be good. Byron here just came out here and stuck a PB first freaking drop. Nice snapper right off the bat for Byron. Look at that. Been to Panama with me twice, now he's here in New Zealand and killing it. First five minutes out here. Sweet. Maybe five minutes. Yeah. Now Jamie's on. That's a good fish. <laughs> Jamie, the new brine out here, hooked up the second I got out here. Yee -yee. Out fishing the boys already. Oh, it's a pretty decent fish. Yeah. Solid. Nice work. Woo! Look at that. Yeah. Just a warm up. Nice. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Look at that. Jamie, the new bride, kicking it off. The nice snapper right off the bat. Oh, yep. First drop. <laughs> Robert Fields, I want to fish. This is the first time I haven't seen him get skunked in New Zealand. It doesn't feel tiny, man. Rob just said that it feels tiny. <laughs> no, it does not feel tiny. It's not, it's not a monster, but it's not tiny either. Oh yeah, dude. It is a tiny! <laughs> no one's talking to Marty for his trip ever. <laughs> oh shit. That ain't taking long. <laughs> Not a monster, but pretty good one. Feels good to get back out here after the cyclone. I Already got a decent fish. And uh, we are all gonna keep one fish tonight. That'll be dinner tomorrow. 
and that'll be my keeper. I'll let the, I'll let the rest of them go. start. Not a monster, but definitely a perfect eater. Keep it rolling. This one's for you, Brenda. <laughs> second drop, second fish. Two drops, two fish. Been spending the rest of my time filming these guys. This one's not very big. Just a wee lad. Snapper, really decent eater, but I'll toss him back. See if we can't upsize from that. But literally only made two drops because all the clients are hooking up non-stop and that's two fish to the kayak 100 they call me rob 100 field no they don't that's not true i'm just dropping this thing down right here a little plastic call it like a jerk shad i drop that thing and, and most of the bites are on the fall as it's going down your line's coming out i like to use a conventional reel so i can actually slow the line down even more it seems like the bigger fish like the slower fall and your line's coming out your line's coming out and then all of a sudden it pauses for a second and then takes off down. These snapper that come up and eat it and then take off to the bottom. And once your line starts screaming out, engage the drag. And a lot of times, especially with big ones, you don't even have to set the hook. Yeah! yeah. Oh, it looks like a decent one. Nice. Frank here from originally California, now North Carolina. The new husband questionable uh, judgment here. He had Marty sign his marriage certificate. If he's got a nice snapper. Oh yeah, that's a PB. Oh bro, great fish. Look at that. Getting the hang of it? Yeah. Sweet. They fight a little different when they start getting a little bigger, huh? Oh well, yeah, especially on light tackle. <laughs> yeah, I saw your rod bent. I was like, oh, I think that's a good fish. <laughs> yeah, Richard. Woo! That looks like a good one. Oh man, if Brenda could see us now. a little better oh yeah <laughs> that one's a little better oh yeah just casting it out randomly man just let it sink like they'll pick it up as they're cruising past it and this one feels pretty decent Yeah, not a monster, but not bad. He's not happy about it. <laughs> That's another good keeper. We'll take him home too, just in case. <laughs> we own him, ladies and gents. Just got out of here. And we are on them. Yeah, decent fish, not a monster, but good eating size. Like I said, we gotta take one each home for dinner. And uh, I'm probably gonna take this one home as my number two, just in case uh, one of the clients uh, releases too many fish or, or whatever. We'll have one extra. But I switched colors of plastics to something a little bit darker and with some gold, which I like in kind of low light situations for just all fish. Whereas most of the time I'm kind of running around in 
and looking for snapper right below the boat and dropping it straight down. We're on the shallow reef and the, and the snapper's just cruising through. They're not really holding anywhere and so instead I'm just casting it out and just, just trying to get that hit on the fall. And this guy came up, ate it on the fall or ate it as he was cruising through. And uh, yeah, got him. And we'll put a knife in his head to put him out of his misery. So he's done suffering now. And then I'm gonna slit between his gills so he bleeds out. And we'll get back after it. But not a bad one. It's uh, basically like the twin of the other one that I kept. These are great keeper size snapper. We'll just keep at it, see if we can't find a bigger one. Marty said he caught a 15 pounder, which is a great one of these. 20 pound is kind of the mecca, kind of the, the mark. But 15 is very respectable and bigger than my personal best. So that's what I'm looking for right now. Let's go find her. In the meantime, having fun. I mean, I think I've put this lure in the water like eight times and I've caught six snapper. Uh, and this is just the first spot we came to. The clients are all hooking up left and right. There's no, no issue finding a, a bite right now. It's just uh, working through them, looking for the right bite, looking for a bigger one. But we got plenty of time and, and basically as that sun goes down and the light goes down, this is gonna get better and better and better until it's dark. But killer little warm up sesh for these guys. Uh, first time kayak fishing in New Zealand. It's going pretty good. Yeah, it's a I lost one and then uh, dropped it back down there and got one. <sighs> pretty shallow here, not huge. Oh, it's not bad either though. It's another good keeper. I'm probably gonna keep this one also. Just make sure we have enough for dinner tomorrow. Uh, Yippah! Man, all, all the ones I'm catching are about the same size. Not huge, but not bad. Uh, yep, kind of cookie cutter, panty size snapper, as they call them, panties. Ow! Ow! He just stabbed my leg pretty good. That didn't feel good. Will you stop? Sweet, just non-stop steady action. I came over a good school of bait. Didn't mark any fish, but marked some good bait. Dropped down in there and this guy was oh, terrorizing that bait fish. And uh, he's gonna go ahead and get a knife to the head because he's fighting back. There we go, a little knife to the head. He's settled down now. Just another, these are about cookie cutter for me now at this point tonight. They're all looking about like that for me. No monsters yet, but that's a great eating size snapper right there. Really what you're looking for. Australasian snapper, these things are called. They're called snapper, but they're actually a bream species. They're not a snapper, one of many species of fish on earth that are misnamed, but super fun. At that size, they're a blast and they get much bigger than that but that's gonna be delicious. Fresh, lean, organic protein for the group on, on day one, night one, really just a little quick evening session. Probably got another solid hour though, in fact. Yeah, probably more than that. Now <laughs> that I got these off. Oh, Brenda. Eat it, Brenda. Eat it. Eat, eat it, Brenda. I'm telling my mom to eat it. <laughs> I hate you. Brenda, eat it. Eat the food, Brenda. Oh uh, yeah, there's a pretty good one like seven meters down. Yeah, there's a lot coming through here, right? Uh, uh, oh, Brenda, she ate it. Oh, I got a little Brenda. <laughs> Be free, Brenda. Find a new man. Yeah. Eat it. Want to see something funny? 
when I catch a big fish underneath you when my plastic is running. Oh yeah, literally. Sorry, I didn't even, I didn't mean to. Oh, it's alright. You're helping. Eat it, Brenda. Either I've got you. Yep. Uh, uh. Yep. I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> no. I got a big one. Oh, we got a screamer. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. Good. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, give it a yank. Yeah. That's your son, Brenda. <laughs> yep. Another one, but not very big. Wouldn't mind if you just shook that. Oh, you mother. Ugh, really? Not the size we're after, but I see on my graph that a few followed it up. Drop this right back down. Guys, one thing I found really helps is if you say, eat it, Brenda, eat it. <laughs> Please stop telling my mother to eat it. Oh, oh, right at the surface. No! Frank Go, Frank! That looks like a good fish, bro. Yeah. It's a light rod, so I don't know. Steven. Go, Frank. We love you. Look at this place. Ladies and gents. It's gorgeous. The wind chilled out a little bit, and, and it's a beautiful evening on the water. The sky is starting to light up. Shoo! We were all feeling pretty defeated when that hurricane came through, and the forecast at first was looking like this trip might just be a bust. I mean, you know, 100-year storm, they're calling it. Literally the storm of the century, and uh, we were all feeling pretty bummed, and just what are the odds? It'd be the, you know, our one week, and it passed through faster than it was originally saying, and so we got plenty of time out here now. Spirits are high, and people are catching fish. Frank just caught another solid one. He's got a big one of the evening, and. Sounds like you just dropped another fish right there. They're chewing, everyone's getting on some action. I love this place. And we are just getting started. See if we can't bag a, a donkey here at, here at dusk. Oh man, there's some fish. There's some fish through here, Rich here, bro. It's just hideous out here. Do you know any pretty spots? <laughs> yeah, you always say that when I don't see it. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Oh. Oh, yeah? Well, I think I just got like a one pounder. Oh. Oh, maybe not. I got a decent one here, I think. I've got three, because I'm going to make ceviche. Oh, I got a pretty good one here, man. I think. Oh. Whew. Man, this might be big fish of the night. This might be big fish of the night. The hell of a honeymoon. Oh. Ah, uh, he's about pretty similar. Oh, Frank, I'm getting moist. <laughs> Can't beat catching solid snapper with this backdrop. Look at this. Whoa. Oh. Yippah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think he might be big fish of the night. Hard to tell. Let's go. Oh, God. He's a good one. 
Yeah. Look at that one. Beautiful fish in a beautiful place. Look at that. Just one after another. All in this kind of class right here. Super fun. And like I said, they get much bigger. But I'll take it. That's a fun fight there. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Good to see everyone's getting some PVs. Yeah, I think we've got enough for dinner, so we'll send this one on its way. <laughs> I knew it was ready. Let's look at this, guys. L I V I N, we out here living. Just beautiful. Fish truly are just a bonus in this place. Yeepah! A little dark, yeah? I'm trying to hold it. There you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's right. We'll, we'll grab it. It's still sitting on your car. Uh, <laughs> you might. Rob can get it. Yeah, I'll get it. it. No, all good. I'm not used to catching fish, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you take grab that? Yep. Thanks. I kept a few just in case not everyone kept one and I think I'm gonna do I stole limes from the neighbor at the Airbnb I'm gonna make ceviche maybe oh, good. Tomorrow because we got limes and we brought onions and tomatoes so I'm gonna make some ceviche with one of these snappers. So I brought a couple extra just in case Pull me Pull me Oh yeah 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 yeah, there's a circle on the wall up above the mirror, and if you feel under it, there's a little swim. <sighs> Gonna have light now. Find it. Good. You get that. Yeah, I'll start the next one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fishing all over again. Got it. Uh, Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Haratonga, I think it's called. It's a beautiful little bay we slept in last night after we got here. Had a quick little fishing session that went awesome. We got just a gorgeous sunrise happening in the background. Today, flat, calm, beautiful conditions. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna fire up the motor here after we all get some coffee, some breakfast, and Aaron's gonna take us out to like a deeper water, underwater mountain and just drop us in right on an epic jigging spot so we can jig for kingies as they call them or yellowtail kingfish. Yellowtails are known in the states. It is the same species, but here they get much bigger. They hold the world record here. I think it's something like 120 pounds, which I can't even imagine. These are some of the strongest fighting fish, pound for pound on planet Earth. Drag scream in action on the menu today. Now, if we get out there and it's a little windier than we think, then we're gonna have to tuck in behind Arid Island, which will be our home for the next two nights. And we'll have to be dropped in there and then we'll have to paddle out to the spot. But it's looking, unless it's deceiving in here, it's looking like it's gonna be calm enough. He can just drop us right on the spot and we'll be jigging for kingies first thing this morning. Super excited. It's gonna be our first full day with this group. They're all super excited. It's gonna be a good day. Beautiful morning, just does not get any better. We are in paradise, ladies and gentlemen. Phew! It's gonna be a good day. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Profound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg's getting excited. Steve. <laughs> Byron said, came all the way to New Zealand. He said first thing he was gonna do was just jump in, but we went fishing instead. <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna wake up nice. Yeah. Just let me know if you need me to jump in. You know how to, you know how to swim, right? Oh shit! <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not that bad. Welcome to New Zealand. Yeah. He's awake now. Actually, yeah, that's better than a shower. For waking up. Oh. 
Welcome to paradise, folks. Look at this. Just epic, epic landscape. Flat calm out here. It doesn't get any calmer. We're dropping the kayakers in now, kind of as quick as we can. We're gonna have to pedal out. It was a little too rolly, a little bit too much swell to drop the kayaks in next to the boat, just drifting. You know, be banging up against the boat as we hand them all their stuff. Just, just not worth it. So it's about three kilometers out that way, offshore, epic underwater mountain a nice pinnacle always has fish on it should be worth the pedal it's about three kilometers out there it's about two miles a little bit under no big deal no dramas as they say it probably takes 30 40 minutes to get out there and we could troll on the way but while these conditions are like this we're not gonna we're just gonna get out there we know it's gonna be epic and that way if the wind does pick up later uh we can get a good session in this morning while it is literally as flat as it gets out here it's gonna be good y'all I'm typically going last because I'm going to help these guys get all their stuff on, but uh, I'm ready to get out there. Itching. Hey, Robert. You know how it does to do a solid dip for the GoPro? It helps if you bring it. I just thought you should go grab it. How do you not love this sh? Is this great? Check, check, check. I might the check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the man is there. Don't drop the mic. Oh, watch this. Good luck, brother. Good luck. Don't need luck. Good fish. No luck needed. Yeah, you're right. This be quick because that's literally everything And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Phew. What a gorgeous day. Absolutely perfect out here. I gotta go catch up with the group. I was the last one in, helping all these guys kind of get launched. Look at this place, golly. All right, well, I've been pedaling pretty hard trying to catch up to the group since I launched last, but we're here. We made it to the pinnacle. Steven Tapp got out ahead of everyone, like usual. He's paddling a faster kite than we are, and he's on the spot right now, and he's saying he's got marks. The kingfish are here like we knew they would be pretty much last time we were here last week it was every single drop you could not get your jig or your plastic back without hooking a fish to the point where i was taking like five minute breaks between drops just because i was so exhausted these fish will wear you out till your arms feel like they're gonna fall off it should be a good time and you can see now I'm, i've been over sand at a pretty steady level and now we're getting up on the reef Let's get some fish. Phew. Marty, there's a few scattered uh, lines at the head of last week's drift. I'll just have a look further afield. Yep, Steven taps on first drop. Yippah! That did not take long at all. Oh, amateur hour. Oh, uh, broke you. <laughs> there he is. You. Frank's on first drop. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? They're still here, too, eh? Oh, Jamie's on. <laughs> We got the newlyweds doubled up right now. Talk about a honeymoon. Yeah, hang on tight. Yeah, she's not crying yet. Look at this, the newlyweds came here, got married. Now they're on their honeymoon out here, drag screaming off both their lines, doubled up. Yippah! Woo! Welcome to New Zealand. Oh no. <laughs> I can tell who wears the pants in this relationship. Got it. Yeah, you got it now. Oh, got color. Oh, yeah. First drop. Yoo you on? Yeah, Greg's on, tripled up. <laughs> I don't even have to stop recording, it's just constant. Oh! <laughs> 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 
Let's see it. Yeah, first New Zealand yellowtail for Jamie. Oh no. He just brought up a head. <laughs> Phew. Nice work, Jamie. One for one. One drop, one fish. Great work. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Greg. Oh, Greg got a snapper out of the school. Yeah, they'll be mixed in there. Frank caught uh, about a fourth of a kingy. It's a nice little souvenir. You can take that back in your carry-on. All right, we got the wife one, husband, nil. We are keeping score today. I got a quarter. Okay, we'll give you a, we'll give you a .25. I don't know if that's gonna help you, but. Guys, we're gonna continually drift this way, so you need to keep moving back up onto the pin. All right, and I haven't even made a drop yet, and uh, yeah, just hookups all around me, every direction. Taps on again. This last one got sharked. Oh, Greg just lost one. Frank just lost one. Right now, the fish are winning, guys. It's like, really? Here, like the bottom half of the water column is blotted out. Oh, I got some red marks here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, they're right here, man. They're right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, enough filming the clients. I'm gonna drop a few times. This one's for you, Brenda. <laughs> We're in New Zealand. Yee. I'm fishing with your son. Yee. You're gonna be calling me dad after this, King. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't miss here, boys. I just missed. Oh, you missed. <laughs> I had two hits though. Oh, this route, this is this set up so much better than what I was using last week. Thank you, man. Oh, got a hit. Eat it again. No. Wow, we both missed. Can't miss here, boys. <laughs> oh, 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 you can't miss. Marty's on. Hey, uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, that one looks proper, eh? Hey! <laughs> this is a... That looks, like, that looks like a pretty good one. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're gonna get tangled up. <laughs> Uh, do, you want to just, do you want to just cast over me and uh, fight this fish? Fish on! I think I just got sharked. Uh, you just got sharked? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get these fish up quick. There are bronze whaler sharks, bronzies, in the area. Oh no. Yep. I believe that's what just happened. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Ow. Oh my gosh. I got sharked. Yep. Oh, you got yours up? Yeah. Oh, it's a pretty good one. Oh my gosh. That was exciting. <laughs> Good lord, that hurt me. Uh, well, one drop, one fish, one shark, one jig loss. I got shark three times so far. Bro, there's so many right here, you guys, right here. Hey, Frank, bro, you ever seen one of these? Yeah, yeah. Just look at Jamie's kayak in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many fish here, guys. <sighs> Screw it. I'm going to try dropping the plastic. Drop this thing down. Wasting no time. There's tons of fish here. <laughs> Marty's making fun of Frank over here because his, his new wife's showing him how it's done. Frank's just been feeding the sharks like me so far now. Oh, 
Oh, I just got hit on the way down. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> more drag, more drag. It's like a kingy, only smaller. Yep, first drop with the plastic. Hit it on the way down. Second drop of the day, second fish. It's not that big. They're just so strong. Trying to get it up before the sharks get to it. Easier said than done. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he let it go before we could get a photo. Oh. Big sir, it didn't happen. Ow! Uh. All right, second drop, second kingfish. There's a million more below us, and that's on the soft plastic on the way down. Decent little guy, but not the monsters we're after. Oh! He knocked my energy drink in the water, you mother. I should kill him for that. That's on this soft plastic on kind of a free swinging jig head. The biggest one I got. Not a monster yellow tail, but I'll take it. And I'll also throw him back. Yeah, you can't miss here, bro. There are so many down there. Heepa! Let's get back on the school. I'm gonna go grab that energy drink so we're not littering out here and uh, Go catch some more. Phew! Found them, ladies and gents. We're back on them. These things get over 100 pounds. Can't really imagine that. I don't think I'm geared up for that. Frank's on. Oh, oh. Yep. I haven't had one do that today on this reel. Oh my gosh. This is big fish of the day, guys. Welcome to the Hurt Locker. <laughs> the Hurt Locker. Oh. Oh. 